Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show and discuss photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got these on various Telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of East and make the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel that I just created. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Excavating the Gateway of the King Sargon Citadel in Iraq All throughout the history, we see this occurring pattern of white-bearded men that built ancient civilizations, and they want to tell us that somehow they are not connected. Despite having the identical looking busts, are we also supposed to ignore that they share the identical symbols? Regardless of what historians say, you have the eyes, so judge it by yourself. This is a picture of a Masonic initiation candidate. Following ritual, the left breast and left leg are exposed while wearing a noose around his neck. The candidate for initiation is stripped of all material possessions and dressed in a strange and peculiar garb. This includes a blindfold and a length of rope called a cable toe. The blindfold used represents secrecy, darkness and ignorance, as well as trust between the members. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Ancient Egypt in America In a restricted area of the Grand Canyon, there are pyramids, caves, and tunnel cities full of hieroglyphics and ancient Egyptian relics. Many people do not know about them and this information has been suppressed by the federal government for about a century. The sky over this area is restricted airspace, the area surrounding this pyramid and cave on the ground is illegal and treacherous to navigate, and all official reports about this from the Smithsonian and elsewhere have been censored, modified, nullified, or retracted. This still has not stopped people from attempting to visit this part of the canyon. Many have been arrested, and some have died attempting to climb to these sacred sites over the years. It has gotten to the point where the government feels it must have armed FBI agents, guarding inside the entrance to the cave, that is now known as Kincaid's Cave. Kincaid's Cave Kincaid's cave was named after G.E. Kincaid, who was the first to enter the cave. After retiring from the Marines, G.E. Kincaid worked for S.A. Jordan as archaeologist. S.A. Jordan was sent to the Grand Canyon by the Smithsonian Institute to investigate information reported by John Wesley Powell. The tunnel is presently on a cliff wall 400 feet above the Colorado River in the Grand Canyon. Archaeologists estimate the man-made cavern is around 3,000 years old. This cavern is over 500 feet long and has several cross tunnels to large chambers. This was the lowest level and last Egyptian tunnel city that was built in the Grand Canyon. Since the time that it was constructed, archaeologists estimate the Colorado River has eroded 300 feet lower. Powell's Cave John Wesley Powell discovered what is now called Powell's Cave. The following is a quote taken directly out of a book that Powell published. In this canyon, great numbers of man-made caves are hollowed out. I first walked down a gorge to the left of a cliff and climbed to a bench of the cliff. There was a trail on the cliff bench that was deeply worn into the rock formation. Where the trail crossed some gulches, some steps had been cut. I could see no evidence that the trail had been traveled in a long time. 
I returned to our camp about 3 p.m., and the men had found more Egyptian hieroglyphics on cliff walls near the cave. We explored the cave and found this shrine and other artifacts. That evening I sent a team member to notify the Smithsonian Institute of our discovery. We continued to survey the canyon and discovered more Egyptian tunnel cities. I estimate in my report that I think upwards of 50,000 Egyptians had inhabited the Grand Canyon at one time. In 1963, while doing renovations on his home, a man broke through an exterior bedroom wall in his home and discovered a tunnel entrance. What he found behind that wall stunned historians, archaeologists, and the world. The lost ancient underground city of Derinkai had been discovered. A multi-level series of rooms carved from the soft volcanic rock in the Cappadocia region of Turkey, Derinkai extends to a depth of over 200 feet believed to have been constructed by the Phrygians. Indo-European people originally from the Balkan region, it dates back to the 8th century BC. Capable of holding up to 20,000 people, Derinkayu had rooms for food stores, livestock, schools, kitchens, living and sleeping quarters, and sanitary facilities. Small tunnels carved up to the surface allowed ventilation throughout the city. Entrance tunnels were carefully hidden in the hills surrounding Derinkayu and connected to the city. One of these tunnels were discovered in 1963 when workers removed the bedroom wall. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this. They have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.